Hello, welcome to the beautiful main atrium of the Grimsby Fishing Heritage Centre. My name's Dave Ormsby and I'm going to be showing you how we can make a section of trawl netting using traditional sisal twine and a braiding needle. Braiding, if you look it up online, um, you'll probably find things to do with hair or plaiting or something like this, but it's, it's a traditional term for net making. So this is a traditional net needle, and in Grimsby they were always known as braiding needles. They used to always be made of wood. These days you can buy them made out of plastic. There are still businesses in Grimsby that sell net needles because they are still used to repair netting, to repair trawls even though these days we don't make trawl anymore in Grimsby. Grimsby, of course, has an incredible fishing heritage of being formerly the world's premier fishing port. And sisal twine, which was used to make all of the nets at one time of day, had to be made in massive quantities here in Grimsby. So let's show you how it was done our way. So you need a net needle for a start, and the idea is we're going to fill it up so that it looks like this. And the way that you do that is with your ball of twine, we're going to fill this needle just what you call single twine, so just one layer of twine in. Put the end of it with your thumb, tuck it behind here, trap it in there, wrap it around the bottom, and we just go alternately round like this until you've filled your whole needle. Bit of a boring job, so of course trollermen don't like to do this. So if you're a decky learner just starting out on a trawler, this will be your job, filling up all the needles. If you had a, a large damage section, instead of trying to mend just that bit, it's almost like patching it up, and you could sell those for extra money. So most households in Grimsby did it, and in fact a lot of these wooden needles that we've got are donated from local families that have perhaps found them in the lofts, in houses all over Grimsby, and given them to us, and of course we're always glad, glad to get them. So, once you've got a needle full, we can start braiding. You need a pole or a rope or something to start on, and there's two types of knot that you need to learn. We're going to cross it over and tuck it through, and that is a clove hitch. If I start another one here, I'm using my hand to measure the mesh size, over again and through. And there's another clove hitch. Over again. And you'll start to see that what we're making is a series of these loops here that are the size of my hand. So the size of your net will depend how many meshes square you're going to make it. So you can go on as long as you like or as small as you like, but what you'll start to see is that this needle quite quickly starts to empty. It's nearly half empty now and I've only done a few of these loops. The interesting thing is if you think that to fill a needle you might need about five fathoms, five outstretched arms to fill a needle and that will only make a tiny small square. So remember what we were saying earlier about the sheer amount of twine that we had to make in Grimsby and why we had such an important massive cordage company in the town. So what we've got here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be good enough. So I've done my first row along here. What I'm going to do now is put the needle through that mesh. Measure again with my hand and this time I'm going to come round the back and pull it through. Down the next one. Measuring around the back of those two and pull it through. And all of these are what you call sheet bends. And that's the second row to put through there. When you get to the end of a row, you come up them. So I'm going to come up here 
round the back and through. And you see it's quite an easy rhythm really once you're getting into it. It's not difficult, like most things I suppose once you've learnt it, it's quite easy to do. At sea, trawlermen, they're not actually making nets, they're repairing nets. You might have to do a bit of this if you're repairing a, a large hole, but most of the time you're only mending. So, I'll finish off that last one. And there we are, that's how you turn a bit of troll twine into a bit of troll, the Grimsby way.